And today I've got a lot on my to-do list to do. Step outside and seize the day now. Set aside your worries, it's so. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is one that I've never done or I've never done this style of video before but I'm really excited about it because I feel like so often in my vlogs I share my to-do list to share with you guys the things that I'm trying to accomplish in the day and today I've got a lot on my to-do list to do. One of those things will be doing some cooking and hanging out here in the kitchen and that kind of brings me in to showing you guys guys today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Gove and I've actually worked with them before. We have their hanging lights in our patio out back and we love the options that they bring. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a strip of these strip lights that I put up underneath of my cabinets. They're crazy easy to install. There's like no tools needed. It's so simple. Anyone could do it. I literally just put these up and I'm going to put some up on the other side of the kitchen but I'm going to go ahead. I haven't wound all this cord up and um, made it a little more discreet just because I'm going to show you guys and this here can stick onto something. This is the remote control. I'm going to show you another way you can use them here in a second but um, they are like literally the coolest thing ever. Okay so I pulled up the app and I just made this one named Kitchen One so I can select that and it will give me all of these options. There's literally probably hundreds of color options. I mean, here I can make them green, I can make them orange. They're so cool and like I said, crazy easy to install. Something else that's a really fun feature that my daughters actually really love is this music feature. If you hit that, they will actually flash and go to the rhythm of the music that you're listening to. So dance parties in the kitchen have already happened and some more will definitely be happening. As a video creator, this little bar down here is so convenient because you can make it a brighter light or like a cooler light or a warmer light. So depending on the atmosphere or the situation, it's really easy to adjust them. Everything comes packaged really, really nicely. This is the other strip of lights I'm gonna put on the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. They also do send clips that you can secure them with, but these are definitely not needed. And they also send this little like alcohol wipe that you can wipe up the area that you're going to apply the lights to. Here is what the lights look like. They have kind of like a jelly feel to them. And then they've got a sticky stuff on the back and it's super easy to peel off and just stick it to whatever surface you want to use. And then here's my little wipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this underneath of these cabinets. Gove LED strip lights are also Alexa enabled. If you guys wanna check out the links in the description box, they are having some awesome Black Friday sales that are already going on. And you can pick up your own set of these lights for whatever area of your home you wanna use them in. The first thing on my to-do list is to wash everybody's sheets today. So I'm gonna go and get all of them off of the beds, but before I do that, I'm actually going to um, put some chicken into a marinade because it does need to sit in the marinade for a little while before I cook it, and it will probably be the last thing I cook today. We are actually starting to do a little bit of meal prepping. I used to do this all the time, and our lives are just really busy, and we, right now, in the stage of life we're in, could really use some meal prepping and just meals that are made and we can pull them out and heat them up um, and that they're healthy and we're not tempted to grab something unhealthy. So that's part of my goal today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started putting the chicken into the marinade and then I'm gonna get the sheets in the washer. Okay, I went on Pinterest and I got a couple different recipes. So I think today I'm gonna be making three different meals and these are for Corey and I because um, I'm counting macros, which if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically like your nutrition um, intake. And so I'm doing them for Corey and I, so it'll be six, or I'm sorry, it'll be, yeah, it'll be six containers, three different meals for um, him and I. 
So the first one that I'm gonna be putting together is a Italian chicken skewers. And it's really interesting, it actually uses buttermilk in the marinade, which I've never done anything like that before. So I'm gonna cut the chicken up, and obviously to the size you'd put onto skewers, and then I'm going to put it into the marinade, and then that'll be like probably the last thing I make today. I will be sure to leave all of the recipes linked below in the description box. Like I said, most of this stuff I found off of Pinterest, and there was a lot of really good ones. And honestly, as I test tasted all the stuff I made today, I was so happy with everything. Everything tasted so good and had such a great variety of flavors. Once I had the Italian chicken um, skewers chicken ready I went into our room and started stripping down our bed I decided to also wash our duvet cover I don't do this very often but it was really in need of being cleaned Next, I separated all of the bedding into individual loads. So there was like three or four of them. And you'll see throughout the day, I try to keep everything rolling through the washer and dryer in between cooking and doing my other things. I try to keep hard boiled eggs on hand. And this day I wanted to make some deviled eggs to go with one of my meal prep meals and just wanted some extra hard boiled eggs for in the refrigerator. So I boiled a bunch of them up. Now I'm starting in on a recipe that is something jalapeno chicken. I can't remember exactly, but like I said, I'll leave it all linked below. And this was so good. I definitely think that this is gonna be one that I will make again. And it was really simple to produce such a huge amount of flavor. I hope that this video motivates you guys to do a little bit of meal prep. I know it's something that helps our week go so much smoother and it just really helps out if if I have meals ready and if it's something that we can even heat up really quickly then supper is ready and we're not waiting around for food to be cooked. This was a side mushroom dish that I found on Pinterest. It looked so delicious, and yes, it was. It just took a bunch of mushrooms, and then some bacon, and you did a little bit of roasting on the mushrooms before you stir fried it in with the bacon. Oh, it was so delicious. Something you're gonna notice um, on these days that I do a lot of cooking at once, I don't really wash my pan up a ton. I actually like to leave all of the seasoning and flavors in it from like whatever I was just frying. I feel like it makes the food taste so much better. It's what people used to do and still do a lot with cast iron skillets and it kind of holds on to the seasoning and the flavor of the food. And doesn't this just look so delicious? So I put some cheese on top of that jalapeno chicken and then when we reheat it, it will just melt over the chicken. I don't 
don't have an exact recipe for my deviled eggs. I just put a little bit of mayo and a little bit of mustard and mix it all together and then put the yolks part back into the whites of the eggs. And also, I was really thrilled that I ended up getting two meals for each of us out of this stuff. I kind of overguessed on my protein and stuff, so it was perfect. And then I put some of this ranch over the skewers. I didn't actually put that chicken on skewers, even though that's what it was meant for, just because it fit into the containers a little better just to fry up the chunks of chicken. So right before I started this meal, I did actually clean up some stuff and reload my dishwasher just so I wasn't so overwhelmed till I was finished. So I could kind of start off with a little bit more of a clean slate. And I started making some cauliflower fried rice to go along with some cashew chicken that you'll see me make here in a second. This is so good and we actually like this like on a regular basis to order in takeout food. So it was fun to kind of recreate a favorite. At this point, of course, my sheets and everything were ready for our bed, so I went ahead and started making our bed and then got interrupted <laughs> right here in a second because I realized that my chicken was almost done and I needed to add the last few ingredients before it was finished. I washed up some strawberries and I actually got jumbo muffin size, I believe that's the size I got, um, silicone liners, like muffin silicone liners. And these work perfect because we can take the strawberries out and reheat the hot food part, but keep that part separate. Okay, I kind of feel a little out of breath after wrangling or wrestling with the duvet cover. Anyways, um, so I'm going to go ahead and go in my closet and show you guys something. I can't finish the girls' beds until they wake up from their naps. They're just sleeping on their beds without their bedding while it's being washed um, and with other blankets and stuff. So since they're taking naps, I'm going to stay out of that end of the house and I'm going to show you what was on my to-do list to do in my closet today. While I was um, cooking, these actually came. They're from Amazon, of course. You guys know I get like everything from Amazon. And um, 
they're like really really heavy there's 50 hangers in here if you guys have watched my vlogs before you know that this has been something on my to-do list for a while to get done so right now all of our tops are up there and then like Corey's hats he wears a lot of like baseball style hats and so they're all up here this is like stuff we don't use very often or that's pretty much out of the way and then I do have a couple pant hangers but crazy enough these cost a lot more than those but I feel like those are more heavy duty so I don't know anyways so I recently had um, organized this I don't know if you guys caught that video um, but I did not have the stuff to hang up all of our bottoms on either side so let me take a step back here a second so this is like a bar that you can hang just like up there oh I don't know why that random hanger is there so I'm going to hang all of our stuff up that's folded down here so we can easily see our um, pants and shorts and leggings and stuff. And then up there is like Christmas presents I'm hiding and that stuff I don't want my girls to get into that I stuck up there. And then on this side is where I hang um, my diaper bags and then Corey hangs his backpack over there but he's using it right now. So. Um, yeah, I really love how organized everything is right now, and I'm so excited to see it with the bottoms all hung up. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go and catch me, baby. So there is some stuff in the laundry that I need to get out, but we will still have extra hangers, which makes me really happy. And I'm just so glad that stuff is finally off the um, bottom and just hanging up so that we can easily go through it and we're not digging through piles. And the girls are still napping, so while they're still sleeping, I am actually gonna clean up the kitchen. Gove has so many different products. Another product that we use in our home is their hydrometer thermometer. It's for indoors and outdoors and it's wireless. The temperature humidity sensor records two years of data and uploads it to your phone through Wi-Fi every minute. It's just one more way to monitor your home through smart technology. Gove also provides water leak detectors. To be honest, whenever they told me about these, I was totally mind blown. This is the coolest invention. So basically, it will set an alarm off if it comes in contact with water. So you could put these in your laundry room, in your bathrooms, your kitchen. I think another really great place would be is under your water heater. So anywhere that there could possibly potentially be a leak that you would want to know about before damage happens that is where you would want to put this little device again don't forget to check everything out that i've mentioned in this video in the description box thank you so much for tackling my to-do list with me today let me know in the comments if you guys like this video and the question of the day is inspired by my containers that i put my food in what is your favorite takeout food let me know in the comments i'd love to hear your opinion if you're new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give this video a like for me, and I'll see you guys in my next video.